And it's a problem gripping Kentuckiana and other communities around the country. Substance abuse. It kills people and destroys lives. 11 out of 11's Dennis Ting met with a group of people working to combat the problem, bringing their own unique perspective. Dennis? Well, Derek, for people fighting the grips of substance abuse, it can seem to be a lonely battle at times. But this community, made up of people who have gone through the recovery process and those in the midst of it, want to let people know they don't have to go through it alone. Their faces are smiling, and why wouldn't they be at a Saturday barbecue? But their smiles are for more than just the food and camaraderie. It's showing everyone that we can change, and we do change, and we become productive members of, of our community. For several of the people here at the event put on by the Louisville Chapter of Young People in Recovery, a national organization that provides resources and networks to help people recover from substance abuse disorder, Saturday was a celebration, a showcase of the other side of recovery. And it can affect anyone. I went to a private high school, um, went on to L. And, and it, you know, it just spiraled out of control, even though I come from a great family. It almost killed me. It almost took me out, and uh, I now am in long-term recovery. For Alan Lemke, a member of Young People in Recovery, he says he's been breaking free from the drug addiction that haunted his life for 20 years, no longer looking forward to his next fix. That's the number one thing on your mind, no matter what. When you first wake up, that's the first thing on your mind. The first thing I think about when I wake up is what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. <laughs> you know what I mean? But while Lemke and others may no longer be dependent on drugs or alcohol, they know there are others who still are, which is why they're also using this celebration to help others break their chains of addiction, working to eliminate the stigma that often keeps people from getting help. A lot of them feel like they're almost like lepers being cast out. There is a way out. There is help. And there are people who are living and thriving in recovery. Somebody's been through it. Somebody has been where you've been, and we can take your hand and help you get to the other side, just like somebody did for us. They know firsthand the road to recovery is not an easy one, but having someone who knows the way certainly helps. And for more information on how to get involved with young people in recovery and for resources on how to get help with substance abuse, visit our website, whas11.com. Dennis Ting, 11 at 11.